All right, y'all. I am out here for a few minute run. I'm actually trying to record this in HD. I don't know how it's gonna look, but I was trying out some new filming equipment. And I figured try it at night. That's the best way to do it. Won't be a super long video, but I just think this looks good with these lights on here. I still hear a faint rubbing noise, but I think it's just the tires rubbing on the body. Try to get this a little closer to me. It looks so much better in person than it does on camera. Let's see if I can get a close up of this. I'll have a full review coming up on this vehicle really soon. And we'll find out in my review, is it worth the 564 you pay plus tax? Well, 564 with tax included is what it was. 560, almost five, or 565 is what I'm trying to say. You do have to be a, a Slash fan for this. I say the look of it's good too, but I'll talk about that in the final review. And it's still all stock, stock gearing and everything in it. It definitely moves, I give it that. And it definitely turns good. For me, if I'm being quiet, it doesn't need to be any faster than what it is. It would make a great on-road speed car if they use the LCG chassis on it, if Traxxas does it at some point in time, but don't know if they'll do that or not. So anyway, that was a run of this. I definitely wanted to run this and check out the quality of this video um, as well. So you guys put down in the comments what you think about it. I'm just trying to work on some Experiment with some different video equipment and stuff, and I think it being like 7:45 out here and stuff, this is actually going to be uh, pretty good to do this test on it. But anyway, put your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, to YouTube for the next video. Appreciate you guys watching.